Welcome to this tutorial on speeding up your WordPress website. Uh, today we're going to focus on three of my favorite plugins. The first is, of course, the eWWW Image Optimizer, which I develop myself. And the other two are Cache Enabler and Auto Optimize. Just with these three simple plugins, uh, we're going to be able to see a pretty good uh, speed boost here. And this is all done on shared hosting, which you know is probably the majority of, of WordPress sites out there. And so the, the test site for this is test.shanebishop.net. I'm Shane, so this is my test site. And you can see, you know, before here, I ran a test. Uh, fully loaded time is not horrible for a completely unoptimized site. Uh, and this is a pretty typical uh, page size, actually a little better than average. If we hover over this little thing here, it should tell us the average right now uh, for GT metrics is 2.87 megs. Uh, the web Archive just released uh, numbers a few months ago saying that the average uh, for all the sites that they had crawled was over three megabytes. So we're a little little lighter than average. Uh, we'll see how fast we can get this and with 29 requests total. So uh, here's what our site looks like. It's using the default stock 2017 uh, theme. Uh, no plugins activated uh, except for my site management plugin. And uh, most of the, the weight, of course, here is coming from images, along with a few uh, scripts and uh, style sheets. Uh, so let's see what we can do to speed it up a little bit. So I've already got these plugins installed, but uh, they are all free plugins that you can grab from the plugin repository just by hitting add new, typing the title here, you know, cache enabler. And there it is. Uh, and auto optimize actually comes up for that as well. And amazingly so does the EWW image optimizer. So that's kind of awesome and cool. So look for cache enabler and you'll get all three of them. So first we're gonna uh, turn on the caching plugin. So what's a caching plugin for? On a normal webs, WordPress website, you've got a bunch of plugins installed, you know, maybe you got 10, 15, 40, 80. <laughs> and uh, that can slow things down. That's a lot of code for the server to, to process every single time the page loads. Uh, so what a cache plugin does is it takes the final HTML uh, code required to, to display the page and it saves that as a static file. So that way the server doesn't have to keep running through all that code, going to the database, querying all the, the stuff it needs to build the page. It's just right there all in one place in a static file and Cache Enabler can uh, serve that up to your visitors really fast and uh, makes a big difference on page loads when you've got uh, load t load times coming in at you know three four seconds or or higher just for that initial response. Some web hosts don't let you use caching plugins, and that's because they have their own built-in server-side caching. What that means is that you get all the benefits of a caching plugin, plus it's usually faster without actually using a plugin. Some examples of this are WP Engine, Kinsta, and Flywheel, just to name a few. So let's head on over to the cache enabler settings. So the default settings are typically what I use on here. Um, you can tweak this a little bit um, if you want the page cache to you know expire every 24 hours or something. But uh, for most sites, these are pretty decent defaults. Uh, we're not going to minimize anything because we're going to have the auto optimize plugin do that. Um, so we've got that enabled. Let's go back to our uh, plugins. And let's activate auto optimize. And hit the settings for that. Now, I don't think these are normally on by default. Um, and I'm just using the basic settings, not the advanced on this site. 
Um, if you need to, you can just hit this little guy right here and it'll give you lots more control. Uh, but for this site, these are just going to be fine. So we make sure these are all checked. Uh, we want to optimize our HTML, our JavaScript, and our CSS, all three of those. Uh, we're not going to worry about the CDN yet because that is going to be part of uh, the EWW Image Optimizer plugin. So let's save those settings. And if you've already got a caching plugin and then you install this, you want to make sure that you clear clear the cache for your, your caching plugin as well. So that's got a cache. Auto Optimize has a cache for the, the CSS and JS files. Right now, of course, it's empty because we just cleared it. So let's see what that did. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, just adding the caching plugin and the Auto Optimize plugin dropped us down to 1.1 second which is even better on shared hosting um, not too much difference here but we did get uh, rid of a couple requests there because it was able to merge uh, some of the JavaScript and CSS files um, you can see here we're still getting an F we got one point higher but we're still getting an F because we need to optimize and, and scale our images properly um, the Y slow uh, mostly complaining because we're not using a CDN yet, so we'll take care of that as well in the next step. Um, and here, just to give you an idea of, of what a CDN does for you, uh, so you can see it before and after. This is you know what a normal web server is going to look like when you're requesting all the different pictures and, and JavaScript files and, and CSS. There's all this, this waiting time is the purple and then the, the gray time is the receiving. So it's it's a little slow just to even send in a static file. And you know, some of these aren't that big, like this guy, 52K, and it still took 600 milliseconds to send just that one file. So that really adds up uh, on the total page load here. So let's see what else we can do, huh? So let's come back to our plugins. And let's activate the EWWW image optimizer. We're not going to use just the free version because uh, it doesn't do as much compression. We want to really show you how much compression you can get here. Um, so I've already added my, my API key in here. Uh, and we should have all the settings that we want. The default will be you know, lossy here once you put in your API key, but I always use maximum lossy just for that extra uh, little bit of compression there, and it does preserve higher quality on that setting as well. So those settings should be pretty good for now. Uh, we're also going to uh, enable the exact DN, that's our CDN solution. If you're not familiar with what a CDN is, it's basically a global network of highly optimized servers that are tuned for delivering files like images as fast as possible. In addition to that, ExactDN also does automatic resizing, automatic compression, it enables enhanced responsive design, and a few other tricks that we'll get to here in a minute. So we'll see on the resize settings, um, if we enable this and don't have a subscription yet, we need to purchase one of those. That's step one. There's three steps here. The first is to purchase a subscription for the site where we want to use ExactDN. The second is to link that site to our subscription on the Manage Sites page. And the last is to enable the ExactDN option in the resize settings. Once that's saved, uh, we need to make sure the plugin status shows that ExactDN is verified. So we're going to show you steps two and three right now. And we add our site here, and it tells us what we need to do. Please copy and paste the site address uh, from the WordPress general settings. So we're going to go grab that address. And we want this one. Copy that and put it over here. It'll take just a minute here as it spins. And now it's being deployed. It says five minutes, but it doesn't always take five minutes, but it doesn't hurt to wait. Just And if we refresh five minutes later, 
it'll look a little different. We've got some options here. Uh, we don't need those options right now. What we do need to do is go back to the EU Image Optimizer settings page. And now we will see that our site has been verified. If you haven't enabled it, go ahead and enable ExactDN at this point, and it will say verified. Uh, so next step is to optimize our library. As we can see, we got a whole bunch of images here waiting to be optimized. And we're going to let that rip. Um, so the reason we're uh, doing the bulk optimize in addition to using ExactDN is because ExactDN only does uh, lossless compression by default. Um, and as of the last release, it'll do lossy compression, but it still doesn't do uh, max lossy because it's so slow. Um, you'll see that here as, as we're going. It's going to take a while, in fact, 35 minutes. Uh, so we're not going to sit here and watch this whole thing. We'll come back to it. If you want to use just the lossy compression on ExactDN, you can find more information about that on our docs site. Uh, just hit the ExactDN section down here. And there's this whole topic about getting more out of it. To enable the lossy option through ExactDN, you just add this line into your WP config file. Another option uh, that we will be using in this tutorial is this right here. And adding this line allows ExactDN to serve more than just your images. It lets you do your, uh, your style sheets, your JavaScript files, your fonts, anything in the WP includes and WP content folders. Okay, now that all of our images have been optimized, we're back here in the media library where we can see uh, all the compression results. We can click on the little plus guy to see a little bit more detail. Of course, the big ones see the most savings and the little ones sometimes not so much. We need to make sure that we clear uh, the cache uh, so that uh, the exact DN changes will come through, which I've just done. And so let's see what what that did. So here's what we had before. Uh, we were looking at uh, 1.1 second. That was after caching in the auto optimized plugin, and the page weight was still pretty high, 2.79 megabytes. Still average, but still high. Um, and so I've run the the test on my other computer in the meantime. So we can now uh, refresh this and go to the latest report and here's what we got now so now we went from a 47 to 98 not that the score is the main thing we'll get to the main thing um, but why the y slow score went from 90 to 97 and here's the important part our fully loaded time went from uh, starting up around uh, 1.7 to 1 to 2 seconds uh, then to 1.1 and now to 0.7 and our page size has been more than cut in half. It's now just over a megabyte and st still with about 25 requests. So that's pretty awesome. The pretty good results from just three plugins, the uh, cache enabler, auto optimize and the EWWW image optimizer. Um, and so let's look uh, I showed you the waterfall before we had the CDN enabled. And so here's what it looks like afterwards once uh, the CDN is working. So here's the main page, uh, which of course does not go through the CDN. But we've got 139 milliseconds to connect, 81 seconds of wait, or milliseconds of waiting, and it took 60 second, 66 to receive. So that's pretty amazing uh, response time, 288 milliseconds just to get the, the page uh, downloaded and then it starts pulling in the scripts and the CSS and everything else and then here it hits the CDN and just boom 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 right down right down the row. Uh, this file for some reason never goes to the CDN, it's a core WordPress file. Uh, someday I'll figure that out but I haven't yet but 
uh, still 0.7 seconds uh, for load time. That's pretty phenomenal for shared hosting. Um, so, and just in case you're curious, I'm using A2 hosting. Um, they're they're pretty solid host. So, just to recap, we started off with a 2.79 megabyte page. It was taking almost two seconds to load. Abysmal page speed scores. Uh, we enabled the cache enabler with default settings. We enabled the auto optimize plugin with just the standard, no advanced settings. We just checked all these boxes and saved that. And that got us to slightly better scores, better load time, almost in half, 1.1. And then we enabled, we brought in the big guns, the EWWW image optimizer. We enabled that. Uh, with a purchased API key. We increased the JPEG optimization to maximum lossy. Remember we said that's higher quality and higher compression. And on the resize settings, uh, we purchased an exact DN or CDN subscription and we enabled that. And that gave us the amazing 0.7 uh, load time. I hope that helps you make your WordPress website faster. And of course, every website's different. So if you run into any problems or have any questions, you can always contact me on our, at our website, ewww.io. Have a great day and happy optimizing.